Hello, a quick video to talk about server virtualization. Server virtualization is the taking of entire server operating systems and converting them into almost like software packages which can then be run multiple instances of on one server or one physical server. I know that gets confusing. We're putting servers on servers. Virtualized servers are really just all the software that comprises a server's operating system plus the applications. But we can take those off of the physical boxes, take the software and wrap it up into a package, which can then be stacked on top of another server which is designed just for running virtualized servers. And then we can put multiple virtualized servers on one physical server box. And this is done by several vendors right now. VMware is one of the leaders. Uh, Microsoft also has something called Hyper-V. Uh, Novell has also got a product, I believe, called Zen. Anyway, what does this look like? Well, what you can see of it is this thing called a hypervisor manager. Uh, this is a vSphere client by VMware. And on the left-hand side, I've got names of multiple virtualized servers that are available um, on this physical uh, box. Now the box is called an ESX box. That's VMware's name for the operating system that hosts virtualized servers. So for instance, I have uh, a Windows 2003 domain controller running here. Uh, I've also got a Windows 2003 um, application server which is serving um, some applications. Now both of these servers that you see in these windows are running on the same physical box simultaneously. And depending on the amount of power that that physical box has, that physical server hardware has, I could run four, eight. Um, in professional installations it's not uncommon to see as many as 20 to 60 virtualized servers running on one physical server hardware. Several advantages come with this. One is that you get much better return on investment because you're not dedicating one single box to every server instance that comes along. In your typical environment, you're going to have oftentimes an email server, a domain server, a file server, uh, specialized application servers, which traditionally has meant individual physical server hardware for each instance. But with virtualization, you can take all those servers and then put them onto one or two boxes. Now when we put them onto two or maybe even three boxes, what we're doing is we're spreading out the load of those six or more servers across two or three physical hardware servers. What this does is gives us uh, high availability, redundancy, and disaster recoverability. Because almost like a V8 engine that has eight cylinders, if one of those cylinders should stop firing, the engine's not going to stop. So in the case of those three physical servers, if one of them stops running, your virtualized server environment won't go down. It won't run as well, just like the V8 engine, but it won't go down. And that's the beauty of virtualization, is you get the economy of not having to have those dedicated boxes for each instance of a server, and you also get that reliability of not having individual server instances tied to the reliability of an individual box. So anything that you can virtualize as a server can run in this environment. So even though I'm showing Windows 2003 in both instances, um, this could be a 2003 server, a Linux server, uh, a Novell server. Um, just about any server operating system that runs on the Intel architecture can be virtualized and then run under uh, one of these uh, virtualized environments like VMware or Hyper-V. So I hope that what I just showed you gave you at least a quick understanding of what server virtualization is. If you want to know more about it and what it can do for you, just contact me either through this YouTube channel uh, via messaging or there should be a website listed in the corner of this uh, video that you can go to and there you can find information about how to contact me. 